All right, so let's go ahead and start talking about variables, you know, what variables are and what is this variable thing. So that's a very important concept in any language, okay? So think of a variable as a little bucket, okay? Variables are just little empty buckets that we can put things inside of those buckets and then we can retrieve those things later if we need to do that. Why do we need this variables thing? You know, what, what's the importance? Of it? Well, the reason why is because when we talk about programming, we are talking about manipulating data, right? Input and output. So we take something, we manipulate it, we create something out of it, or we translate into something else, and then we output. Think of a calculator, for instance, right? Any calculator. You input something, right? 2 plus 2, and you want a result. The summation of 2 plus 2 is going to be 4. Right? But inside of that calculator, there's a lot happening. In fact, inside of that calculator of yours, it has code. There are instructions written there that say, okay, if Joe enters 2 and hits another and hits the plus sign and another 2, then that means I will have to add those two numbers and show that to Joe so that he knows 2 plus 2 is 4. Okay? So internally, that's all that's happening. So there's variables, little buckets. So if you put two, that bucket is filled with two. And then plus, another bucket will hold that plus. And two, another bucket will hold that two. And then you hit enter, and then the buckets are added together. And then everything is shown as four. If that makes any sense. So we need a way to manipulate, to hold these pieces of data in our program. So variables are the best candidate. So every language, programming language, has a variable, this little bucket where we can put things, okay? So for instance, in Java, we have different types of variable. The first one we're going to learn is going to be string variable, right? A string is just this, just uh, a text, okay? So how do we then create a string variable? Very simply, we say string, you can see this is a keyword that comes with Java, right? It's not something that I invented or you invented. It just comes already pre-built in Java as a library that tells the system that, okay, whatever comes after that, it's going to be of type string. So I can say my name, and then I say it's equal. I'm assigning Paolo and semicolon. Of course, we have to finish our uh, statement with a semicolon. Okay, so now let's review what's happening here. It's saying, my name is the bucket, but this bucket here is not just a any bucket. It's a special bucket of type string, which means now my name, my bucket here, called my name, will only, only hold string types. So I'm now assigning this variable here to Paolo. So I'm saying now this variable, my name, this bucket, is now holding this string called Paolo. Okay, so that also means since my name now is holding Paolo, it has Paolo inside of it, that means I can now reference my name if I want to see what it's inside of the bucket, right? So now what we can do, let's go get rid of this. If we say inside of here, my name, right, notice also, if I say my, we have this really helpful tool here that just shows up. So I call this IntelliSense. So what's happening here is that the moment you type in something, right, M, it tells you, it helps you by populating the first candidate of whatever you're trying to type. So in this case, it knows, okay, you've just created my name here. So I think I'll give you a few options. Do you want main or main, my name? In this case, we want my name, right? So it's just helping you as we, we develop uh, instead of having to type everything. So whenever you have this case, you can just hit enter and then voila, you have it, okay? So now what we're doing here is it's system that out at print line, my name. So what do you think it's gonna print out? All right, so let's save this and run and see what happens. And there we go. It says Paolo here at the bottom. Okay, so now we learn what a variable is. And also we learn that variables have types in Java. Okay, go ahead now. I want you to go ahead and create another variable of type string and say my apple. And that variable will have to hold something. Just like what we 
did here. Let's just go ahead and play around and create as many variable as variables as you want and display them just like we did here. So I'll see you in the next video.